welcome to episode 26 of Tea Time with Toph, a reaction series where I, Michaela Jill Murphy, the original voice of Toph Beifong, go through the animated series Avatar The Last Airbender leading up to the live action premiere on Netflix in February. Today is a very special day because it is book two, episode six, The Blind Bandit, and we have our first guest of the series, my mother, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we we are twinning today. Um, I, I made these little badger mole t-shirts during quarantine, and so we we had to don them for the Blind Bandit episode. It's very exciting, very exciting. So if you would like to grab your own cup of tea or coffee or water or not, I'm gonna go ahead and get the episode started while uh, we dive into today's tea flavor. Ta-da! Does any of this look familiar to you, Mother? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> when was the last time you watched this episode? Do you remember? Probably 2020. Okay, yeah. all right. Been a couple years. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yes, their lives are about to change. Little do they know. All right, so today's tea. Book two, episode six, The Blind Bandit. Beifong Blend, ooh -hoo. Show Pu'er. Okay, so a couple episodes ago, we had this Pu'er tea that was from like a hundred year old tree. Crazy. <laughs> so today's flavor, the description is Show Pu'er Mini Tuo Cha. I feel like this is probably the fanciest tea flavor so far, <laughs> which is fitting. Uh, <laughs> the preparation is 212 degrees and we're supposed to unwrap the paper from the tea and then steep it for three to five minutes. So a full full uh, tuo cha makes one pot of tea, which is perfect, because there are two of us. Aha, amazing. So look at this, this is so cool. Tuo cha. Tuo cha. This is, this is what it comes as. I'll bump you up to the next belt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, Twinkle Toes is, is really in need of some help. This is, this is good timing, because he's struggling. <laughs> he needs some help in the earth bending arena. <laughs> <laughs> None she knows! She knows the line! <laughs> I also love how all of the earth bending up to this point has been very bro-y. Like, it's very much like strong, muscly men, these like teenagers who think they're too cool for school. Haha, -ha, little do they know. How'd you get them to tell you? Oh, a girl has her ways. A girl has her ways. You know, I think this is probably where Toph and Katara actually get along. Uh, you know, whenever they need something from someone, I feel like they problem solve similarly. I feel like that would be something Toph would do. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna sniff this. Very earthy, very subtle. My mom is not as much of a tea drinker as I am, so this is definitely going to be an experience for her. Okay. Kind of smells like dirt to me, but you know. that works. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> okay, it smells really good. I like it. I think it smells lovely. So we're gonna put the whole thing in. Goodbye. To Goodbye. Tea, Goodbye. All right, water has been added. We let it steep for about five minutes. Until then, let us enjoy Earth Rumble Six. Okay, I feel like I'm definitely a fan of the boulder, like up until obviously you know I arrive. <laughs> but you know, of all the fighters, like the hippos, kind of. I don't know, it's just not my favorite. Um, that that slippery guy, like the skinny guy, who's, who, I don't know what his name is. Yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm a fan of the boulder, you know? It's like a classic wrestler type. Sokka's loving it, clearly. Like the rock, you know? Yeah. Yeah, this guy, like, boo, we don't, we don't like you, no. Neither does Sokka, no one likes this guy. <laughs> and no that's like important this guy. that Sokka doesn't yeah. like it. Okay, let's see what our description is for this flavor, okay. This bold, straightforward blend bold, reflects- Bold? As in boulder? Ha 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 ha! She's a natural, folks. Uh, <laughs> this bold, straightforward blend reflects the strength and attitude of the Earth Kingdom's mightiest bender, Toph Beifang. In the world of tea, Sho Pu'er can be a prestigious collector's tea. Based on the teaware the Beifang family has in their home, this would certainly be a tea that they enjoyed. Like Toph learning earthbending from its original source, Pu'er is from the area in which the first tea plants Camellia sinensis originated. Oh. Okay, that's cool. This tea reflects Toph's fearlessness and her rejection of a distinguished lifestyle as she brings everyone back to Earth. This oh. tea is meant to be enjoyed as tea. Simple as that. Yay! Amazing! Tea is tea. Tea is tea. Who knew? All right. The moment we've all been waiting for. Versus your champion, the Blind <laughs> The little tiny girl. A little, little child, 12-year-old <laughs> girl. 
it's just part of her character, right? Yes, I can really be blind, Katara. And everyone's going to continue to forget about it for the rest of the series. <laughs> it's because she's so talented. Sounds to me like you're scared, Boulder. Sounds to me like you're scared, Boulder. She's still in there. <laughs> and now he's ready to bury you in a rock -alange. Whenever, Whenever you're ready, ready the pebble. The pebble. <laughs> 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 oh, look. The giggle moments from the swamp. Oh, it's all connecting. <laughs> Wait, I know her. <laughs> you know her? Oh my gosh. Really? Can I meet her? I feel like this is the first like seismic bending we get a we get a glimpse into. You know, we've seen everybody else like figure out bending, I guess, in, in real time, but this whole like vibration thing is different. It's very cool. But then again, she's very different and very cool. So that makes sense. Oh he does the splits! I love how calm she is. Chill. She's very chill. Yeah. She's just hanging. She can go boom, taking care of business. Yeah, I'm still the best. <laughs> yeah, but of course. <laughs> she waited and listened. Waited and she listened. waited and listened, baby. I'm offering up this sack of gold pieces to anyone who can defeat the blind bandit. Okay, Ooh, I feel like this anyone. is not. This is like not really the most fair, but like that's fine. That's fine. Do people really want to see two little girls fighting out here? Oh. I don't really want to fight you. I want to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I want to talk to you for a bag of gold. Sokka and, and Toph are on the same page. They're like, no, no, no talking here. <laughs> Somebody's a little light on his feet. What's your fighting name? The, the fancy, fancy dancer. dancer. <laughs> This is the most, like, emotion we've seen in her face. Because she's, like, genuinely confused. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I didn't mean to beat you. Sure, sure you didn't. <laughs> Whoever you are, just leave me alone. <laughs> and I make your own doorway. Yeah, Say and bye. leave. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah! Good job! And Aang's like, I just, I just want to find my earthbending teacher. Come back! I need to save the world! <laughs> the earthbending academy is a good place to start. Is it? I don't think so. If these bros go right. here, mm -mm. <laughs> All right, let's check on our, our tea here. Okay, it's growing. Things are happening. Let it sit for another minute. We have to wait and listen. Mm. In my vision, I saw a girl in a white dress with a pet flying boar. Mm -hmm. Anybody like that? Pet well, flying, flying boar. I feel like a pet flying boar would be like nice, but also extremely high maintenance. How do you control that? They're just flying around all the time. I feel like that that would be a little tough. Especially if you're an earthbender that's blind. Yeah, that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I'm telling you, the boulder was standing right there. I saw the kid strike. I love how the boulder speaks in third person yes, constantly. The boulder was standing right there. The boulder saw her. Hey, look. Come on. Flying boar time. Yeah. It is time to pour our first tea time. cups of tea. Flying tea time. Oh, it looks brown. Yes, yes indeed. Yes. Earthy, earthy. What are you doing here, Twinkle Toes? How did you know it was me? <laughs> Don't answer to Twinkle Toes, it's not manly. <laughs> You're the one whose bag matches his belt. I also love that Twinkle Toes happens immediately. Like, this is first episode, Twinkle Toes is set in stone. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and sniff this. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Very Smells earthy. Like interesting dirt. <laughs> <laughs> interesting dirt. Help! Oh, yes. Little cry wolf action oh, over here. <laughs> um, I heard a noise. I'm so scared. Help me. Help me. I'm helpless. Oh no. I'm gonna take this out of the water. Oh my gosh. Whoa. What? Look at how much that expanded. Look at all that from just that little pellet. Whoa. Okay, this is very similar to the tea from a couple episodes where it was super, super ancient, I guess. Like, there's a lot of that going on in this tea as well. <laughs> Once again, uh, Sokka's happy to be eating. Allow me. Oh my. 
Oh, it's an honor to have you visit us. Oh my gosh. In your opinion. The way that these little airbending tricks are like definitely pissing Toph off. She's like, bro, I have defeated multiple large men. This guy's just blown air around. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> She's gonna kick him under the table or Pissy. something. Right? Yeah, eventually. Yeah. Eventually. Probably good enough to teach someone else. There we go. Now. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. Innocently eating rice. Look the look the loo. Yes, and sadly, because of her blindness. I don't think she will ever become a true master. <laughs> yes, no, not at all. <laughs> She's like, shut up! Stop it! You know, I wonder why Toph was trying to keep it so quiet. Like, just because she was afraid of, like, I don't know, changing the status quo? What's your problem? <laughs> What's your problem? Is <laughs> <laughs> there parents that make her stop? Yeah, but, you know, she could, well, I guess, yeah. The idea to run away doesn't really happen until... They make the option. Stop. The option presents itself, because otherwise, where the heck would she go? Relax. <laughs> it's a weirdo. I'm sorry about that. Let's call a truce, okay? Okay. <laughs> Relax. It's kind of like seeing with my feet. I Your feel voice is so cute. <laughs> and I Does it take you back to 11, 12 year old me? <laughs> a little bit. I was a little more tomboyish, obviously, for this role than maybe like every day, but. Bringing the mom back. The feels. <laughs> All the feels. And then my grandmother, which would be her great-grandmother, watched episodes while she was in the kitchen working yes, back in did. Indiana. She did. She and she would it say, in. well, it's just like having Michaela in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> Mama. Mama, yeah, she, uh, did she just, yeah, she paid attention to the schedule, too, and she, like, played the episodes when they were live on Nickelodeon. Yep. She's the best, man. Great grandmother. Lived to 98? Six. 96? 96. Mama. Partied up up there. <laughs> oh dear. First conflict. Them boys are mad. Okay, it's still kind of hot, but are you ready to try a sip? I have a feeling I'm probably going to like it, but she's probably not, and that's okay. I'm also a lightweight when it comes to heat. Yeah. So. <laughs> it might take you a second. We'll see. Mm. Very earthy. Very good. Be so scared. <laughs> she must be so scared. scared. And then she's talking <laughs> smack. <laughs> the dichotomy of the scenes. <laughs> smack that grin off your face. I should use that more often. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is very much an earthy, grounded flavor. Uh, it, it definitely feels like generational, like something that would, I don't know, exist a hundred years ago, two hundred years ago. It doesn't like have like extra sweetness. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't tasted it yet. It's too hot. Well this is I mean I this is know. also a good comparison. Some people don't like tea. <laughs> you know, this is a good example. Some people like tea. You know <laughs> My daughter is blind. Ugh. She is blind and tiny and helpless and No I'm not no, I'm not! I beat you all before and I'll do it again! <laughs> the boulder takes issue with that kind The boulder. The boulder takes issue with that. Yo, Mick Foley, we, we gotta hang out again because we were together one convention, I think. San Diego Comic Con. We were both there at the same time. And that was so much fun. We have to do it again. What's up, my dude? You did a great job. <laughs> yes. Amazing. <laughs> and now we witness the powerful blind bandit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wow! Look at all the dust! Just like the tea! <laughs> Too much. She can feel his feet moving around. She feels it all happening. She's also smart though. By creating the big dust, you know, cloud, everyone else's vision is impaired and she doesn't need that. And it affects everyone else. She, she knows what's up. This guy, I don't like him. <laughs> he weirds me out. Not into it. I'm like, go away. Nice. Nice. And kerplonk. Oh, coming up right behind you. She knew it. <laughs> the scared guy. Oh, hey, I move my ears like that sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> they all go down. Pile of rubble. Kerplonk. I never knew. Your daughter's amazing. <laughs> I never knew! She's incredible! 
We never allowed her to be amazing! Now this guy... Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a dad so proud. <laughs> it would make some proud. Some would be very proud. Just not this one. I mean, she is a princess. <laughs> is she? Oh, I thought she was. I actually forget. I mean, I know they're like of some sort of, you know, upper tier living, but I don't know actually if they're royalty or just oh. really wealthy. I thought she was. I don't think they have any like royal control, but they might have like some sort of political control. I, I don't know. I don't know, actually. I should know. Do you guys know? Let me know. You guys are more well versed than I am in, in lore. Uh, yeah, what exactly, what exactly is her family title and placement in in the city. I love fighting. I love being an earthbender. I love fighting. And I'm really, really good at it. Yeah, that's right. Own it. We all need to enter the room like Toph Beifang more often, but it's often not received as well. Case in point. So now that you see who I really am, I hope it doesn't change the way you feel about me. Yeah, of course well, it doesn't change the way I feel about Of course it doesn't change how I feel, but of course it changes everything. You're grounded forever now. <laughs> let you have far too much freedom from it's literally the opposite we are doing this for your own good Toph. but this doesn't change how we feel about you but we're changing how we feel about you <laughs> i'm sorry Toph. i'm sorry too goodbye Aang. oh no see this is why goodbye, this is why Aang. she didn't share she didn't try to run it she She's was so scared crying. that exactly this would happen so uh, whenever you read that scene, were you hearkening back to the day when you ran away from home? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I don't think so. I think we'd move past that. Um, plus also, you know, she actually has purpose to do so. Like there's like a real calling here. He said I was free to travel the world. Also, why does she feel the need to lie? Like just to make it easier? I mean, she could have just been like, Screw him. I'm coming with you. And they would have been like, dope. Why did she feel the need to lie? No, know. they would have always been trying to get her back home. I don't think so. Because they would have felt like an obligation. Like they would get in trouble by the adults if they didn't, you see. <laughs> I think that that's wrong. Okay. They've multiple times broken rules, not listened to adults, not felt guilty about running away or stealing things. Ooh. So if she was like, I want to help you, they would have been like, great, let's go. I don't know. I feel like it was partially guilt on her part. Or like the need to to somehow seem like everything was fine, because that's how she was raised. I don't know. Ah, see, she's so happy. She's so happy. Flying around in the air, blissfully on her new, very, very intense journey. Cheers! It doesn't taste like dirt completely. Well, that's nice. <laughs> All right. So, book two, episode six, the Blind Bandit. What are your thoughts? Of course, it is one of my favorite episodes. A little biased. <laughs> one of the reasons why is we get to see the full range of Toph. We get to see how powerful she is. Without a doubt, they show us how powerful she is. Yeah. And then to how controlling her parents are, which makes her completely powerless. Yeah. So the full range. And then how she deals with it. By running away. Well, I mean, how else is she supposed to deal with it? I think that was... That was the reckoning point. She has probably been kind of holding on to when am I going to, you know, let this free. But that fear of basically exactly what happened was probably in the back of her mind the whole time of like, ah, as soon as I, you know, share what I'm doing every night underground, you know, like, yeah, then my whole then my world's going to change and then I'm not going to have access to it anymore. So. I mean, at some point that was going to have to happen because she was 12. So, I mean, if it was when she was 16 or when she was 18, like at some point she was going to have to break free. So, you know, why not it? Why not at 12 to help the Avatar save the world? So, <laughs> so did I stifle you like that as a parent? Wow, we're getting deep, guys. We're getting deep here on YouTube. Uh, I mean, I don't think, first of all, we had the resources to stifle like that. <laughs> Uh, to that extreme. I mean, she had multiple guards and like a fortress to live in. So I feel like that level of stifling is a little, <laughs> a little much. Um, no, but I mean, I feel like there's always good things and things that we wanted to change from our childhoods. I feel like you, you could also agree with that statement. We won't get into that in this episode. Um, but yeah, I think probably the thing that was most stifling was like movie ratings. <laughs> 
Oh. Which is just because she she didn't, you know, she didn't want me to be exposed to stuff too early. So she was like pretty strict about like not wanting me to see PG movies until I was like well into my teens. And she didn't want me to see PG-13 movies until I was like 18. And like R, like never. And it was like, <laughs> yeah, so what? <laughs> but I feel like it was mostly, it was mostly for like sensual stuff and like words and like, rudeness and rudeness okay so, so yeah like rugrats was a no absolutely and no. she thought lion king was was pretty serious and intense for a kid too yeah, yeah. so did, there were just some moments in like middle and high school where i was like it's just a movie and she was like no i don't want you to be scarred so i don't know when i think of stifling moments that's really that's that's what i think of <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Family therapy here on YouTube. <laughs> Stay tuned for next week's therapy session. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Maybe, maybe we, I don't know. If you'd like to see that, feel free to leave a comment. But um, I'm probably not going to venture down that path. Uh, we'll be here for hundreds of episodes. I have taken many sips of this tea. She's spilling it too. Am I? <laughs> and uh, whoops, what'd you put in this tea? <laughs> And I feel like if I hated it, I wouldn't be doing that. So it must be good. Hey, there we go. You know, multiple sips means that she doesn't hate it. <laughs> That's great. That's good. I think she mixed it with cactus juice. Though. Yeah. <laughs> we got to wait a few episodes. We're almost there. We're almost there. Oh. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for joining me on this reaction series journey. Uh, thank you to our first guest, my mother. Show her some love in the comments. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, I don't know, fun things you want to share with her, shout out to Mama Yvette. She's the best. Tell me um, all the dirt. <laughs> Just kidding. Tell her all the tea. <laughs> thank you for having me. I really had a fun time. Of course. Yes, we've, we've finally arrived. Toph's, uh, Toph's finally here. The show's finally begun. Just kidding. Just kidding. The first season was good too. True. But the second season's even better. <laughs> All right. True. I'll see you. <laughs> see you guys next episode. <laughs> Bye. Bye.